of the, um, the Day of the Dead mandala that I'll be doing is a big um, floor piece, first of all, and is made of concentric circles that when you see it, you feel like um, everything is connected together. It's a unifying piece uh, that uh, made of many little pieces, hundreds of little items. But when you see it, you feel like you're on a, you're a bird looking down and it gives you a whole view of uh, the topic, which for me is different cultures and how they commemorate the Day of the Dead. And it goes from personal to um, the universal, meaning it has my personal view of what death is uh, about. And it also includes the entire community in terms of um, how the different uh, cultures around the world see the, um, their relationship, <coughs> see their relationship to the dead, and um, also how they commemorate it, whether by dancing or by creating little objects or uh, <coughs> whatever it is that's specific to that culture. So um, you don't really know what you're going to see until you see it in the gallery. And even my helpers, they're making little pieces for it. But even I am surprised when I see the whole thing. I, when I create these things, I don't really, uh, I can't see the entire thing. I don't have a studio. So it's always a surprise when I assemble it in the gallery. And there's a, a tremendous sense of awe and, and uh, just, um, just joy and gratitude, really, for the creation of such a piece. I think common across cultures is a, is a yearning to connect with our loved ones who have passed away. Um, and when you think about it, really, there's only we are not that separate from those who have passed away. There's only the dimension of time that separates us. We're all going to die one day. Um, so there is a need to, um, quote unquote, make friends with death by um, literally inviting our friends who have passed away to be here with us on special days or to create little objects that um, evoke them. You know, I have a lot of offerings in the mandala that uh, are made for them and as a gesture to them. And um, I even have uh, a sense of the dead uh, walking with us in the familiar surroundings because Day of the Dead is really a, a time when the dead really do come back to our hearts and, and we um, we're hanging out with them is what it's about. And so that's, we, we evoke that through ritual and it's a very healing and, and um, special time to have that sense of, of, uh, of that they are not gone. And in my beliefs, I really do believe that the dead are not gone. And it's just a special time to hang out, have dinner, have coffee, whatever it is that makes us connect to them and to each other, because we all have that same experience of having loved ones who have passed away. And we all have the common experience that we are going to, we all have the common, um, we, all, we all have that common experience of knowing that we are going to die one day too. I think what's special about the Oakland Museum of California is that it is a place that is very welcoming to the community. When you come here, you feel like it's not just a museum, it's your museum and it's your home. And uh, I've been part of a few shows here and I've also been a spectator. And every time I come here, I feel like I'm home and I invite my guests and I show them my home. 
uh, it's a very welcoming place, I have to say. And I'm a community artist. I work a lot with the community. I include them. I include them in the mandalas and the making of them. And I, I just feel like that's what the museum does. They include me in whatever is happening uh, in the exhibitions and, and also in the, uh, the Friday night uh, um, activities and, and every special event that they have, I feel like I'm included in them. It's all about connectedness to me, whether connected to the museum or whether I'm talking about the mandalas. I feel like the, the whole thing is about how we're all connected together in an experience. And uh, you can see that when you look, uh, as I said, when you have a bird's eye view of the mandala, you will see that we're all interrelated.